Now the NBC 16 Sports Desk, sponsored by Bridgeway Contracting. Good morning, Western Oregon. Number seven, Washington, likely has the best combo of elite quarterback and receiver play in the entire nation. Michael Penix Jr. leads the FBS in pass yards per game by like a wide margin, and three of his receivers have topped 100 yards in a game. This weekend, just the beginning of a gauntlet for Oregon that features facing Wazoo's Cam Ward, the raising, reigning Heisman Trophy winner Caleb Williams, and of course the Beavers' DJ Uyunglele. While at Georgia Landing, coached against the likes of Tua Tunga of Iloa, Joe Burrow, and Bryce Young. But has he ever seen a schedule this stacked with elite passers? No, I have not. I think it's really impressive. There's great quarterback play in this league right now, and we're going to get to, like I said before, we're going to get to see all of them. So uh, this is certainly, I think, you know, one of the best, if not the best, that we've seen so far. Um, he's a really talented player, and he's, he's playing at a really high level. Two things that will help the Ducks cause landing expects both Kyrie Jackson and Brian Addison to suit up after both were dealing with some injuries. We just mentioned DJU. Well, he was named the Pac-12's Offensive Player of the Week after a spectacular showing against Cal. His big left tackle also gets his due credit as Josh Gray earned O Lineman of the Week. Oregon State's opponent this week presents a ton of challenges. I mean, Pac-12 fans know all too well about Chip Kelly's masterful offensive mind and Jonathan's Smith says the longtime head coach still evolving. Watching him on tape week in and week out, he's got new wrinkles, new concepts. The pace doesn't change. I mean, these guys have played with pace for years. Um, I mean, he might have been the innovator of uh, going fast, and so that hasn't changed. They got that a part of the package. Um, it's tough. He's going to game plan you. He's going to th throw you some, some new wrinkles formationally. What the action in the backfield is, unbalanced, um, it's tough to defend. It hasn't been all smooth sailing for the Bruins under true freshman quarterback Dante Moore. You see him throwing a pick six there, and he's completed just a little over half of his pass attempts. But he did rally UCLA to a massive win over 13th-ranked Wazoo on Saturday. What a Saturday this is going to be upcoming in Pac-12 football. We'll preview all the action this week. For now, back to you.